Let's start by defining a bay. Choose profile type and select one of three defining bay methods. At this point, line or point load can be defined. This also can be added later on during slab design. Arrange slabs inside the bay. Now decide on end bearing. Selecting the vertices option allows one to define complex bay shapes. There are various methods of defining openings. This option allows to add bearing to selected edges. Cantlever design is possible in FloorCAD. With cantlevers, solid cores and bars are added automatically. Use the solid core feature to copy the solid core and bar pattern to the remaining cantilever slabs. This can also allow the use of open cores to stitch slabs to a surrounding ring beam. Ties are used to transfer weights on a slab or slabs to its neighbors. Picking a worst case design. Design fail? Don't worry, just change strands pattern. Start grouping slabs from designed slab to inherit slab attributes such as slab thickness, strand pattern or structural screed. Grouping assigns a slab ID. 
this slab must be grouped separately as it has a different strand pattern. The use of hangers automatically adds point loads to its neighbors. These slabs should be checked again because of the extra point load from hanger. All that remains now is to run production and load trailers. Here you can arrange slabs in beds, also generate production schedule and labels. Thank you. 